um, you know that the uh, mirror rollers, one of the wheels jammed, and that was serendipitous against lots of pre-exposures. The Curiosity rollers wheels have been punctured by vent affected pedals. In other words, geomorphologists need to be involved in designing these as well as engineering. We've got a different kind of wheel, so have you tested this in the outcome or whatever? And can you test it? Yes, we have. So if you look at these wheels, the tyres are flat. So essentially they are deformable wheels. Um, they are made with, the, they've got a spring as the sort of the tire. And so th the point is that they, they always try to maximize the surface contact. The, unfortunately, the, I believe the diameter of the wheels were uh, constrained by how it packs into the, into the spacecraft and also the thickness, because I have to say, in my, my opinion, you just want the bigger wheels as, as, as you can. I know they're heavy, but you know, everything we found in Curiosity and Mer seems to me that you want big, oops, big wheels that um, uh, can float over loose material. Um, these apparently have similar surface pressure to the Mer wheels. Um, what I will say, though, is it has this amazing thing called uh, wheel walking. So these are actuated and in individual wheels can go up or down like this. So if it does get stuck, it can lift the stuck one, the sand will go underneath it, it puts it down and it does this. In, it, it's very funny. It looks like a, a sort of a, si a six-legged lizard on a hot desert and it's you know, all, doing all this. And uh, it's quite hilarious. But astonishingly, the next thing you know, it's floating on the sands instead of being stuck, up, stuck in the sand. So there's, there's, good, there's good engineering that's been put in. And we actually went, my group went to Airbus, and we had a lot of rants about how useless their wheels were. And then they told us we were wrong. Um, and they, and they, they well, they, they, they showed us we were wrong. And so basically, they have thought of things that we were worried that they hadn't thought about. So I think the design is pretty good. I'd still like to see them bigger, but that's just me. I just like big wheels. So. And this just shows, this is a wonderful ESA animation where they um, explode it and it allows you to talk about the individual bits. If you're one of the engineers who knows the rover literally inside out, you can point at specific bits, pause it, and explain what they all do. I don't have time for that, but I just thought I'd leave it on at the end just because it is really, really cool. So. Yeah.